Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sydney and I am a life coach in training and I'm chronically ill. Today I wanted to talk about my three year migraine. That's actually a 10 year migraine. So let me start to explain. I have had a normal childhood up till I was 17. I'm now 27. And out of nowhere, I had a nosebleed that led to a migraine that's been years long. And so nobody expected that at all. We did not know what was going on once I got that migraine. And everybody was saying it would be a week or two weeks or maybe even like a month and it would go away. And when I went to the ER for the first time, they said, here's some Tylenol, go home, sleep it off. You'll be fine in the next few days. They were wrong. They were very, very wrong. Um, so I started to see a neurologist because it was probably about a month in. I could not listen to the ice maker. Light bothered me. Like all of that was awful. And I would cry every time a noise bothered me, which was terrible. I had no quality of life. So I started to see a neurologist. The neurologist threw different medications at me. Didn't work out really for me. So I got to the point where I had to see an adult neurologist. I got 32 shots or yeah, 32 injections of Botox every so often. That didn't work for me. So my last resort was going to this clinic out of state and trying what they had and basically what they did was they threw every medication at me left and right but they also diagnosed me with something that I did not have and so what happened because of that well before I get to that part I want to tell you how I made it through college on time so despite having this migraine and going to this world-renowned clinic that put me on 32 pills a day, okay? I was 17 on 32 pills a day. I decided that I wanted to go to school a thousand miles away from where I lived. Now you're probably looking at me and thinking, wow, she's crazy. But, you know, I wanted an out. I wanted a change of pace. I was sick of going to the doctors. I was sick of going to the hospitals. And so I did. I went to college a thousand miles away with a migraine. Mind you, this migraine is 24-7, seven days a week, 24 hours, okay? And so <laughs> I went down to college. Nobody thought I could do it. And despite having this migraine every day, I proved everybody wrong, okay? Sometimes you get challenges, like probably not this, but you kind of want to challenge yourself and push yourself and see what you're capable of doing. I found out that I am way stronger than I thought. And I did that by going to school far away, which I don't always recommend if you have what I had um, and still have, but it made me a happier person. And despite being in pain all the time, I was at least doing something I loved and being in a place that I loved and I still had an okay quality of life. I had to push through this migraine, go to every class, do every assignment, take every exam. I still had the migraine, but I somehow trained myself to not forget it, but get used to it and live life with a migraine every day. And so I did, and I still did some normal college stuff, but I was also exhausted from being on all these medications that I never needed. Um, so that's the start. So while I was in college, believe it or not, I got all A's and B's and I only failed one class and that was because the professor was not very nice. And so I somehow made it to almost every class all the time. I did all my assignments on time. I took every exam on time. And this migraine was always in the back of my head. And mind you, 
They tried to give me migraine medications and I can't tolerate them for some reason. And no one knows why, because <laughs> this is so weird. And so by the time I was a sophomore with this migraine, which would make it year two to three, I was getting really sick. The medications were, I want to say this in a technical way, they were poisoning me. Um, and I started getting really bad chest pain and throat pain. I could no longer really eat because I had an infection in my mouth from these medications. I was actually going blind. And I'm not joking when I say this. I was in an exam for the class that I failed and I look at the exam and all of a sudden I can't see it. It is so blurry. I can't make out any word. And I was like, this, this can't be happening to me. What is going on? So I sat there for a few minutes and then I went to the exam proctor or whatever and told them I can't take my exam. I can't see right now. And they probably looked at me like I was crazy and said, oh, okay. And I handed it to them. And then I, we still didn't know I was being poisoned on these medications, mind you. So I went to an eye doctor where I was going to college at. And the eye doctor wanted to do surgery on my eyes. I still had this migraine. Now I'm poisoned on my medications. Now this guy wants to do surgery that is unnecessary in the end. So we listened to our gut. I did not get that surgery and I never needed it. The problem was these medications and the medications I was on drained all of the fluids out of me because they were diuretics which is terrible because I found out that I ended up having POTS and if you have POTS, you need to be hydrated, you need salt and electrolytes. And so not only <laughs> was I going through all that, but I was dizzy, my heart rate was elevated. No one could tell me why any of this was happening to me and why I still had a migraine. And it's taken twists and turns and it's been a crazy experience and so I'm not going to talk your ear off anymore I'm just going to tell you where I am today. I had a great doctor break my migraines about year year three and a half something like that with all these other medications I'm on now that have made me gain weight and have done some other not so fun things. And as time has gone on, I realize this migraine is still here. And let me tell you why. It is breaking through my medications. The medications for me really, I thought, took away the migraine completely. But it's really like, like it was patching a hole that is leaking. So under all these medications that I'm on that's keeping my migraine mostly at bay is the migraine. It has never gone away for 10 years. It is still here. It's just not noticeable every day. And that is my crazy story so far. And there's more coming soon with these migraines, but I still get bloody noses that are associated with the migraines. No one knows why. And, you know, I have a bunch of other diagnoses that have to do with these things, including Crohn's. And it's a Crohn's-related migraine. Basically, that's all we really know. So I'm going to keep you guys updated there's a lot more to this disease than just the migraine, but the migraine is really the most fascinating part because I barely know anybody that's had a migraine for 10 years every day straight. Do you? Because I definitely don't. I know one person I was in the hospital with for three months and she's had a migraine for 13 years, but that's it. So anyways, if you thought this was interesting, 
please subscribe, leave a like, a comment. If you have any questions about this crazy experience, I don't blame you. I'm more than happy to answer them and I will see you guys soon.